this strange thing that humans do to call attention to someone, usually by calling out of a window sweet nothings to compliment them on their buttocks or cleavage. Defined by the ever-knowledgeable Urban Dictionary as a loud whistle or comment of a sexual nature made by a man to a passing woman, or an insulting and sexist remark made in public towards a woman by a man, or, pardon my French, call him out for that pussy. Many women see it as disrespectful and objectifying. In fact, according to a BuzzFeed article on the topic, they sometimes see it as dehumanizing, invasive, scary, and a form of street harassment. Which makes sense. I mean, imagine you're on your way to like the grocery store and there's just some guy calling out to you while you're just trying to pick up a can of beans about your butt. And you're like, hey, I'm just trying to live my life, okay? I don't need this right now. It's creepy. Hey, what's up, girl? At the same time, a lot of people argue that catcalling is actually quite flattering. Uh, Huffington Post article said that the wolf whistles that follow after confidently walking through a mass of men will send your ego soaring. And when a total stranger notices you, it's validating. And you know, that's probably pretty valid too. There have definitely been some days where I'm like, you know, the fact that you just think that I look hot makes me feel like I look pretty hot. Like, thanks, you know? Sometimes it's helpful. But I think no matter what you think on the controversy between whether it's good or bad or dehumanizing or complimentary, there's something that we haven't been focusing on at all. No matter what you believe, I think we can all agree that for years, catcalling has been incredibly discriminatory to an entire sect of the human race. Something needs to be done about it. It's been leaving an entire section of people out. Those people are men. I mean, think about it this way. Men make up 50% of the population. They do 50% of the world's squats. Now, don't you think that, that means that they should get complimented on their butts sometimes? It just isn't fair that they've been left out for so long. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Isn't it wrong to dehumanize men to objectify their bodies? Maybe. For people that do think that catcalling is a good thing, shouldn't men be experiencing all the good things too? Not to mention the fact that it's just kind of weird that we're trying to make all these decisions about it when we haven't experienced both sides. Women don't know what catcalling is all about, and they don't know what it feels like to do it, and men don't know what it feels like to be catcalled. <laughs> but how do I catcall? It's really very simple. I've been catcalled quite a number of times in my life, and I've learned a lot. Step one, find your person. You just need to section out just one person, or two, I mean, depending on how ambitious you are. And you zone in, step two, on one body part that you really want to compliment, be it their earlobes, their ankles, their butt, or you know, their fingernails, whatever you want to do. Step three, you yell it with confidence. You let them know that you think that, that earlobe is the sexiest thing you have ever seen. I mean, come on, they need to know. Now let's go do some real cat calling. Nice abs there. You go, woo woo. That, that's what I wanted to do. Nice butt! Okay, alright. Nice butt there, that is really... Thank you. I can't do it. Yeah, do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. 
have to do a speech on cat cars. I'm not going to cat call you right now. <laughs> Sometimes you need to know when not to cat call. Taurus, not a good time to cat call. <laughs> okay.